So today I'm going to show you how I um, clean or separate the chives. The chives actually need to be dug, uh, need to be dug up and uh, uh, divided. Otherwise, they uh, they don't grow very well. So, um, and I also want to take some of the chives to the um, to the farm so that I can transplant it over there. So, as you can see here, this is a, a strip of chives that um, we planted. Uh, along the walkway of the house and right next, next to the lawn. So um, we got some rain um, on Friday, so they are kind of get all top of them. Uh, they, this is four, so they are kind of weak and they start to set in seeds as well. So I'm going to basically cut this down and then, um, then dig, up, dig them up, divide the bunch because they, they kind of have a very dense roots that need to be divided and se separated and then replant. Chives are like grasses, so they can, um, the more you cut it, actually, the, the better they grow. So what you do is you just take the bunch and cut it above the soil level. And I just, I'm just going to cut all of them, since we have so many of them, I'm just cut all of them off and uh, so that make digging much easier and some of the long grass is growing into it so that's a good opportunity to also clean that up What I got here, you can see, is um, far, at the far end is the chives that I still need to uh, sort through that uh, for cooking or take it to, to work to give some of that to my co-worker for, co-workers for cooking. Um, and here I have two trays of um, chives with roots that I dug, um, dug out. So I will take it to the farm next week to um, to plant it to start a chai patch over there, and then over here is uh, two um, small plants, bottle patch of uh, chives that uh, one of my co-workers uh, really liked the chive and uh, she want to plant something herself. So I will. Um, put in these small parts and that grow 
for a little while, just make sure they survive um, before they, um, I gave to her to uh, transplant to her yard. So I removed the cover, the mulch off, so you can see the chives I have over here. And they grow on bundles, um, so kind of clumped together. Some are um, kind of skinny, that's why I want to divide them, because they're supposed to be like uh, uh, thick ones, because um, if they are growing uh, in bundles and they cannot be separated, um, then the nutrition is limited, so they they will um, get skinnier and skinnier. So what I need to do is uh, dig them up and then divide it into small bundles so that they have more room to grow and that they will get uh, thicker um, uh, chives. I got a bunch over here, so you can see that these guys are kind of skinny and uh, these ones are on the side, a little bit further away from it, it's pretty big. So that's what you want to have. So what you can do is basically separate um, this into a bunch, probably a bundle like like that so that's how i'm going to plant basically um, i have usually you can start with two but with four five six around that and then this bundle will be four five six and then they plant separately so that way they will have room to grow and uh, they will get bigger um, and stronger stem so it's not necessary um, but sometimes maybe I don't know whether it helps or I, it depends on my mood uh, sometimes I will trim the um, the root to be about one inch one and a half inch long before I plant them Sometimes the, um, the roots are so dense that you may not be able to just separate by hand and then I will just cut them with a pair of scissors. Look how strong these roots are. It, it's pretty amazing. That's the runner roots that probably will um, develop new, new branches. Today I'm going to plant some of the chives uh, I dug up last week. Um, last week I had just basically cut the chives at the ground level 
uh, maybe have half inch uh, above the ground level and uh, this is what I got today just over one week um, it grew almost three or four inches so it's a fast growing uh, vegetable that you can eat through the summer so it's great uh, for um, Texas here especially during summer when it's very hot and dry they did not uh, need much attention at all. Uh, another advantage of having chive is that it, because it has a strong smell, it actually is an insect propellant. I notice that when I uh, clean up my chive and I will put it in my compost, and uh, most of the time the, in the compost you will have some flies and all that. But after I put the chive, Um, so it's good uh, insect propellant and also it's a deer um, repellent. I remember I went to visit the Getty Museum uh, in LA and the, the tour guide was saying that the, in the back of the Getty Museum they have a, a, a garden that has lots of uh, plants and all that. Um, so we can smell the um, garlic smell while we were walking, uh, have the tour of the garden. And the, the tour guy said that uh, they planted the chive there because they um, had a deer problem. The deer are, are coming in to eat the uh, vegetable, uh, the, the, the garden plants. So that's why they planted uh, the chives there to keep the deers out. Um, so I'm in this area where it's in the back, where it's east side of the uh, single white. So uh, it's uh, shaded most of the afternoon. And uh, I have uh, used this area for seedling because uh, it's shaded and it's relatively moist. Um, but I do have a problem with the insect. Uh, as you can see over here, I seeded this two weeks ago and uh, uh, the seeds sprouted but you can see this the two leaves this one has has two leaves but this doesn't uh, it's because there are lots of insects over here that just ate the tender leaves um, so this happened before and again happened now because uh, the temperature is still in the up 80s so the insects are pretty active um, so what i will do is i will plant some of the chives over here and then put the seedling next to it so hopefully that will keep the insect out uh, i did put some de over here to try to keep you know kill the insect but i think the de only works on the crawling insect but we have lots of flying insects like cricket and mantis over here um, so they didn't seem to be bothered by the de so hopefully um, the chives will keep them uh, away and i can get some cedar going so here is a bundle of chives i have um, and uh, you can see that all this is new growth over one week so in this case i have uh, a bundle of a few quite a few uh, chives that grow in one bundle so i will just separate them out and plant one bundle at a time so that uh, at one space so that there's uh, enough room for this uh, for the roots to divide and to get more chives uh, and the, the chives like that as well
so that's what I got. Uh, it didn't take me long to plant them. I planted them about one feet, one foot apart, um, so that uh, gave them enough room to grow. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they will take over from here. I will keep you updated on the how the chives work as a insect repellent. If you like this content, please hit the thumb up button. If you want to follow our journey with the East by West farms, please hit the subscribe button.